Bonsoir à tous et à toutes. J'espère que vous passez une agréable soirée. Je me nomme Aniaba Moyer Jean-Baptiste Nguessan. Good evening. My name is Aniaba Moyer Jean-Baptiste Nguessan. And I reflect the excellence of Morehouse College as a junior mathematics computer science and economics triple major, hailing from Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire. And I am a proud recipient of the Oprah Winfrey Scholarship. Throngs of people travel to and through Atlanta like ancient pilgrims did, to sites such as the Wailing Wall, the Great Wall of China, and to Mecca. From its early days as terminus, a railroad hub, now with the world's busiest airport, Atlanta has been given many monikers. Yet it is best known as the Black Mecca, a pilgrimage to black progress. And what do people on the pilgrimage need, you might ask? Well, food and lodging. So consider the potential for business opportunities, trade, and cultural exchange. When I think of Atlanta as the black Mecca, I think of a man who journeyed from Tucson, Arizona to Atlanta. I think of a man who not just created, but shared wealth with his community. I think of the work of entrepreneur, civic leader, and philanthropist Mac Wilborn. I also think of the wealthiest man in the whole wide world, an African ruler named Mosa Musa of the Mali Empire in West Africa. In the early 14th century, Mosa Musa embarked on a historic pilgrimage to Mecca. The caravan that accompanied him was legendary for its grandeur. It consisted of tens of thousands of soldiers, officials, servants, and a vast number of camels carrying an abundance of gold, precious gems, and other valuable goods. What a picture of splendor was this handsome, powerful, and wealthy leader, clad in the flowing garment of a king, moving intently through the desert. Upon reaching Mecca, Mansa Musa continued his displays of generosity and reportedly built mosques distributed more gold, and made significant contributions to various religious and educational institutions. Sounds like Mac Wilborn, who built a business in the hospitality area of fast food. In 1971, Mac Wilborn became one of the first minority McDonald's franchises in the Atlanta area, with four stores and 150 employees. Mac Wilborn also had multiple business ventures with Underground Atlanta, government agencies, and many corporations. As Atlanta flourished as a mecca for commerce and tourism into what is now the Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, Mac Wilborn parlayed his company, Mac2, into thriving airport concessions. His current franchises since 1996 include Popeye's Chicken and Biscuits, Checkers Hamburgers, Philips Seafood, and Eddie's Ice Cream. His two Popeye's chicken locations have ranked numbers one and two in the world. His Checkers hamburgers rank number one in sales in the Checkers rally system worldwide. Mac is also the managing partner of MWJ LLC, a Coca-Cola vending company here in Atlanta. The industry that Mac Wilborn built has contributed to strengthen the Atlanta community. He advanced the vision of Atlanta as an international city. Mr. Mack was instrumental in garnering significant support for major events in Atlanta, such as the Olympics and the World Cup. He also supported the campaign of Barack Obama and many other public officials across the nation. Mack earned multiple awards as a minority business entrepreneur, franchisee, and merchandiser. He was recognized by the Atlanta Business League as the 2011 Corporation of the Year. He's well known for his tireless service and generous support on the boards of Atlanta's nonprofits, civic and arts organizations, too numerous to name. 
He continues to give scholarships to youth at employment programs in Tucson. Mac is a highly successful entrepreneur who made it from the cotton field of Arkansas to the corporate field of Tucson, making Atlanta the mecca for business and progress. Therefore, Morehouse College is pleased to present the Kendall Entrepreneur and Philanthropy Award to Mac Wilborn. Mosa Musa, Mac Wilborn, Mac Wilborn. <laughs>